This is the Kaduna Abuja Highway. The 211-kilometer road serves as a gateway into most states in the northwest zone from the federal capital territory. For some time now, the poor road network, incessant cases of kidnapping and armed robbery along the ever-busy highway have combined to make it unattractive for people to ply the road. In the last seven months, no fewer than six prominent persons have been kidnapped along this highway. Among those kidnapped include a former minister serving federal and state lawmakers, as well as foreigners. Apart from targeting high-profile persons, travelers plying the road are also not safe, as armed bandits abduct their victims randomly. Some of the victims narrate their ordeal. These men were wearing army uniform. They stopped a car in front of us, and we were thinking maybe they are military people trying to check the vehicles that are passing, not knowing that they are kidnappers. That very day I was scared and I was very scared. Not too long ago, the Inspector General of Police deployed special forces to help curb the menace of kidnapping and other criminal acts along the highway. Sadly, rather than abating, the crime is increasing by the day, with the latest abduction of over 10 persons. These people are going to be given a particular section of the road, and we're going to cover the, the, in, the, the outer and the inner, that is the two lanes, and we, we put them at a distance that when the response, the response will be swift, and we've told them that they, we should not have mercy for those of them who will come and, um, and kidnap or rob by the use of gun and by taking people's life. Danju Masediki, a relative to one of the kidnapped victims, complained about the Kaduna State Police Command's investigation of the incident. I and some of my concerned friends reported the matter to the Kaduna State Police Command, where we met with some of the top brass of the command. They promised to investigate the matter and ensure the release of the captives. To our greatest shock, Instead of doing the needful, the Kaduna State Command decided to debunk it through a press statement signed by the Deputy Commissioner of Police, DCP, Ahmed Abdurrahman, describing it as false, claiming that there was no truth in the story, that it was misleading, and he called on the public to disregard it. The Kaduna Abuja Highway has gained notoriety due to the activities of kidnappers who terrorize motorists and travelers. Residents are demanding that security agencies step up the fight against the bandits in order to make the roads safe. <laughs>